is smart city technology going to uh, have the most rapid adoption? Is it going to be in something like lighting with uh, with Amy's systems, uh, uh, Kurt? Is it going to be transportation? Is it going to be um, data distribution, communications, for instance? Uh, is it is it going to be um, how your cell phone app connects to city services? You can hit your cell phone and yell at City Hall? What is it? I think there'll be multiple facets. I think our focus of sort of making sure there's a uh, ubiquitous infrastructure uh, of compute capability for that data, you know, to transport over and to allow for great solutions to be able to connect together um, are, are clearly going to enable that. Um, I think it's going to be required for economic development. The startups expect that, expect that in order to be able to facilitate um, that. You need it from an education perspective to move, you know, to move things forward. Um, I think the opportunity we will find the, the opportunities from a citizen perspective will, you know, follow the trajectory of sort of the consumer experience with technology. I believe that will sort of occur. I think the bigger opportunity for sort of the significant impact from a cost perspective, from a quality of life perspective, are actually in more of what I'll call the mundane, which is more of the infrastructure side, or the significance of legacy systems that we have in public sector, be they COBOL systems, be they these litany of legacy systems that have very relevant data, and then what knitted together with these other capabilities really, you know, allow for that significant change. And I think, you know, that in and of itself will really, you know, change smart city perception uh, allow for great solutions, and yeah, you know, we'll have great interaction like you're doing in Kansas City. Um, but it's sort of the the big impact and sort of the cost is the maintenance on all those legacy environments. And sort of how do we how do we get into you know those Medicaid systems, you know those those health and human services that really impact the quality of life for individuals. I think those will really uh, really drive a transformation in a quality of life that will have impact. What's the lowest common denominator in the, pro, pro, uh, the uh, projects that you've been most satisfied with? In other words, what's the thing, the element, the office, the aspect of the city that, that slows you down and that you have to conform to, or that you wish would actually move more quickly? Um, it, it's similar to what Clint articulated. It is education. Right. So we education, have, education is the, is the, it's is the it's stand in the gas tank. It's educating the individuals relative to the art of the possible and helping them get beyond the, 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 the risk-reward dialogue. So you mean and education sort of, of stakeholders, uh, not education of the whole community. Correct. Education of stakeholders. Yes and yes. Yeah.